really rainbow group of people doing this really cool, bizarre, crazy, wacky <laughs> show. I, I will say, uh, on, a, on a very personal basis, uh, one of the things which the of Batman did, whether it's been acknowledged or not, is I think it kind of opened up a new era, uh, a sort of renaissance era for martial arts on television. We have not seen uh, series in which this kind of combat was entered since obviously the 1960s. But here we are. There are all these shows that are, that are opening up now, and I think they would make it possible in some ways, because either the Badlands showed that it could be done. So, you know, thank you guys for that. With that, I mean, I'm going to do a quick fire kind of thing here. <laughs> And ask you guys, is there a moment or scene that was most memorable for you over the course of these last three seasons? And I, I want to be with you, Al, and just like, let's have you two share that one kind of crystalline moment you're always going to remember. <laughs> I can say the moment for me when I saw it caught was the rain fight in the first uh, episode of the show. That rain fight is one of the most spectacular fights ever conceived, I believe. And we saw it, and it was literally perfect. Not one frame we changed. It was, uh, it was amazing. Um, that for me was like, oh, this show is going to be different, and it's going to be more than we imagined, and more than we could even possibly believe. So yeah, that was the moment for me. <laughs> now back to me. Um, I think for me it was the, because the show was so insane, and especially the first season where you know, nobody quite knew what they were getting. And it was when I saw, interestingly, it was the Quinn speech that, that he said to the boys, which to me was such a pivotal scene. And it's a very long speech, and that's not something you do in television often. And then just to kind of watch that whole sequence and see that cult of personality, you know, it felt like, okay, this world can work. That's exactly what Baron is. And, and to watch Daniel in that scene, and you learn so much about you and Aramis's reaction to you. It's like there's so much story told in that scene, and David Dawkins did such a brilliant job directing it. Um, so I think that was one for me. I agree with both of those. There's so many cool stuff in the show. But I think what kind of made the culmination of all of our efforts, um, for me personally, was the, the sunny fight in the RV of the beginning of season 3A. Because you know, what we try to achieve with these fights, they're not just fights for like fights sake, but you want to be integrated in the story. And I've said this a million times before, and I'm going to say it again. It's not porn. You know, <laughs> porn is you go, you skip the story to get to the action, and then you watch the action and you're done, right? <laughs> We're trying to do something way <laughs> But you know what? Honestly speaking, you watch a lot of action movies. It's porn. It's just porn. Story stuff, the action's kind of cool, and then that's, you forget about it, right? You <laughs> know, it's just wipe off and cut. But, to make the fight related to the story and there's, there's no fight happening just for fight sake. But there's that happens sometimes, whatever. But in this in three A, the first fight for Sunny, it was this fight that it was raw and visceral, there was no wire work. It's just this this is this guy's gonna protect his fucking kid no matter what. And that's the whole tone for the rest of three season three. It's also changing Sunny, you know, that Hunter Sunny was never like that before. And he'll do anything to protect his kid. And there's no work, there's no dialogue in that scene all, all, at all. And it was very similar to me to the opening scene of There Will Be Blood with Daniel Day Lewis falls in that hole. And you're just watching 15 minutes of this guy trying to get out of this freaking hole, right? But it tells you so much about what that guy is in that moment. He's so, he's a determined person who's going to get what he wants no matter what. And so our fight scene, we're able to do that, not in a drama scene, but in an action scene, to tell you where Sonny is at this moment and where he's going to be for the rest of the season. Like that, that seemed to me is like the culmination of everything that we've ever tried to do in the show in one, one action scene. Aramis, yeah. Um, I think my favorite scene uh, would probably be season three, episode eight. It's not a fight, actually, it's a scene between Daniel and I. Um, it's when we meet again after I uh, find out that he killed my mom. It's after we get in this huge fight. Um, uh, by the dig site at uh, Pilgrim's Fortress. Um, yeah, there was just something about that day that was just like, I don't know, it felt very real. 
Uh, we were coming uh, near the end of the series, uh, and, and we had known it, so it was, um, yeah, it was, it was a very real moment. I think the first time that I actually, uh, like, couldn't really control my emotions on set. Um, and Daniel obviously helped a lot. I'm just looking at him, watching him, uh, you know, carry baby Henry, it was a very special moment for me, at least. That's a selfish answer. That was good to <laughs> Um, definitely Widow Sells a Fight for me. Um, <laughs> because, yeah, that one is really emotional too, which I think is so interesting to watch. And also, yeah, it was just really fun. And it was a fight that, like, a lot of the fights that I do are like a lot of people are fighting and I don't really get to do that much. But that one was like just me and Emily. So I got to just spend a whole week like, on fight unit every day, and I learned so much, and it was really fun and difficult. But I really, I'm really proud of the way that it turned out. Yeah. Uh, you know, I enjoyed all the scenes where I got to kill dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that says, but um, my favorite, favorite is when I get to ride a horse into battle to save Nathaniel Moon. And um, because it was fun and you had to learn things like how to rear a horse and, you know, it was just fun. Um, and I think also I sort of rather enjoyed my motivation for it, which is kind of like, well, if you have a guy like that and looks like he's going to die, <laughs> you better get in and save him because you're not going to find that again. <laughs> um, they didn't have Tinder. So, uh, <laughs> so it was, it was just fun. I really loved that thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was a that was a surreal moment. 
Um, but there was there was many. There was endless. endless. I, I get why you feel that way though, because you're on a show where there's much trust and stuff. Took a while to gain the trust back. Again, a nice segue. We're going to prove how much more for us suck on this show by showing another scene. This is.